woman's blouse, a man's shirt, a child's shoes, but only one bed. Lavender, strong scent. Enough to track him down. If anything happened to you, we'd go hungry. And the winches are too bleeding You'll frighten me, kid. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the eternal fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me, for no reason at all. You's a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. That was some pretty bad acting. Really ought to explore other career options. Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me! <sighs> Always the same old shit. Hey, wait! The old grand shut and shut. Holding tight to All the All souls praise the eternal fire. Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old. Please, stop! I surrender. Might be able to look like a witcher, but that won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are. What you feel. I don't kill him, true. But then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else. Far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. I know. But I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go. Somewhere far away. But first, take this. As a token of my gratitude. So long, Witcher. Stop plumbing. There's somebody coming. Is this necessary? Mm. On the road all day, and now... Cramming <laughs> Oh, no. Greetings, Master. Problem solved. Convince the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk, as tradition ordains. And how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. There better be one. Or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more. And I'll not do business with you again. I'm knackered.
What do you seek, pain giver? My, what a freak. I repeat, do not get in my way. That is safe. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smash knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Logic in. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals before the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea with mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without a shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back at Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wade, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Oh, would you mind going to see him? Zed? Oh, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall, and thank you, Geralt. I should think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Okay. Is this truly what you want? To be a purveyor no of cheap whores and watered down wine? Thanks, Harry. Hey! Well. <laughs> what was that about? She spat in my face! Or, might as well have. Call me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and ekamajigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. 
ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. Maybe the Vivaldis would give you a loan. I'd vouch for you. Funny you mention that. I went to see Vivaldi. Know what he said? Witchers are no good as guarantors. The risk of premature death is way too high. But I have another idea. I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her! Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? Knew I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need... to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate... parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Tarina, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What'll you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Old man Newman left me a good old time. What? He never given me nothing but floppy diddly. If you don't know how to give, you can't receive. Saying I'm no good at giving? To give, you've got to have talent Geralt. and character. Positively divine performance. You make a splendid mama. Aren't you too old to be out whoring? Looking for something unusual? Meow. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? Sick. Sick of it. spells. O on my honor. An elf sauna worth less than a man's shit. Greetings. What do ye want? So the notice about Jenny of the Woods, you posted it, right? Oh, aye. Twas me. You do it. You's a witcher, is you not? Straight off. A picture in me granny's book. Monstrum. Or a portrayal of witchers. Remember like it were today. We be afeard of her. But Jenny of the Woods? What's she to you? I'm on it. 
Know if anyone's seen Jenny of the Woods? Could tell me more about her. Old Willem must have. But he won't tell you naught. He were weak of heart. We found him in the fields this morning. Other folk are afraid to go out nights. But you might try Agneta. Lives at the end of the village. Word is she saw the wraith. And nothing happened to her? She wasn't hurt? Agneta? Outlived three husbands, that one. Jenny of the Woods won't do naught to that wench. So you're that white one. Wraith that haunts the village. Heard you can tell me about it. Oh, I, I saw her. Saw Jenny of the Woods with my own eyes. Like I sees you now, Witcher. What did she look like? In detail, please try. Truth be told, I didn't see her too clearly. It, it were growing dimpsy, and this pale shape loomed afore me, mist-like. I comes closer, and the cloud thickened, and something like a visage came out of the mist. What did you do? What do you think, me love? That I'd wait to see the wraith in full glory? Ran to the village to tell folk what I'd seen. I see. So she appeared to you just after twilight? Important clue, thanks. You take care now. through here, barefoot. A piece of fabric, possibly from a dress, got snagged on the undergrowth. Stride indicates she was running, probably why she tore her dress. Somebody chase her? Sewer. He stabbed her or slit her throat. Strange. Left the knife behind. Dried blood on it. Could come in handy. Dragged the body through here. Clear trail. Lugged the body all the way to the woods, buried it here. Shallow grave. Murderer must have been pressed for time. Something sticking out. A letter? The scorned lover killed the woman, seems to me. A night raid. Alderman probably knew the girl. I had to ask him. Greetings. What do ye want? Zula and Bakai. Did you know them? They must have lived in this village. Good God, he knows? Tis witchery. They disappeared, both of them, into thin air. We've not seen them a week now. I found the girl's grave and a letter. It's clear she rejected Bakai because she loved another. Zula and Ontan, aye. We thought they'd fled north to seek happiness there. Bokai departed round the same time. So that's to mean Arzula's the wraith. Can't be. Such a good lass. And so pretty. Any idea where they used to meet? Mm, well, can't say for sure. But the young'uns, they go to the clearing, mostly west of the village, past the fields. Zula. Good gods. Enough poor folk. No way I can hope to lift this curse. 
Gotta drive the wraith away. Stand a chance if I can bind it to one spot for a while.